All right, hey guys, welcome in. We are doing a fall painting, a fall easy painting landscape on here I today. A few things to show you, a few little tricks and tips that'll make this pretty easy. I have these canvases. These are actually used and leftovers. Um, some of my kids kind of don't want to take theirs. Two types of canvases I usually use are the sax one, that is a little bit thicker. Um, and then this, I think school specialty isn't quite as good, but it still works and they're pretty cheap. That being said, I love doing landscapes. Landscapes is easily one of my favorite things to do uh, for painting, especially. Um, I've been doing them for probably about 20 years now. This one's probably about 20 years old, one of my favorite ones. And I just like to create a space and environment that is kind of in your brain and then kind of develop that in person. That's a fascinating thing for me to do um, is take an idea and take some image and transfer that. Similar, but not always like the exact same thing, but just having that idea um, come true to life or having it a little, a little bit different into something that you kind of invent also. So these are a couple of mine just to show you, I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit with landscapes. The white on here, and I'm gonna try to keep the background. I always start with the background first and kind of go opposite, almost like my man Bob Ross, uh, you start with the clouds and the sky or the water and then eventually kind of move up to maybe the mountains or maybe trees or something uh, beach and then from there you start adding details whether it's trees, grass, shrubbery, cabin, people. Um, you kind of work up from the bottom structure. So I'm going to go kind of in reverse of that and go towards the background. I'm going to wipe some of this out. So I'm going to go through this real quick. Again, doesn't have to be anything perfect. If you're starting out with a white canvas, you can just grab your yellow or actually a little bit of white mix into the yellow might be kind of nice. So that's how I'm gonna start out my kind of sunset, map it out or draw it out. I've had people do that before where they're starting on just their white canvas. And then they kind of sketch out with pencil uh, where some of the, where the horizon line is, where the mountains would be, where the sky is gonna be, where the ground is gonna be. Horizon line's gonna be a little bit lower. Is it gonna be higher or kind of right in the middle? Mine's gonna be, I guess a little bit lower, but kind of right in the middle. Okay, so now I'm starting to get some of that bright color that I want in that middle. I'm gonna go right into my orange then, and I can use the same brush. I like some of those layering techniques. And I'm going right up to it, getting a little bit darker as I go up. I can still mix some of that yellow in there. Again, it's gonna be layer upon layer, so it doesn't have to be perfect that first time. Now I'm going into red. A bit of purple in here as well. And then finally getting a little bit of blue. Lighter colors towards the bottom here. I still want to bring some of that lightness from the edge up. Sometimes I work more uh, from the middle and forget about those edges. Sometimes I cover those up with mountains or trees. Um, sometimes I don't and leave that. But I like, uh, yeah, I like how that, that top is starting to look up there. Cool, while I have some of those colors also, I'm gonna do a reflection piece down here, almost as if a pond or a river. So I still want some of that white down here and in the middle. And you get a little bit smaller on here. And then again, go kind of in reverse with kind of some of that orange, red, violet, and blue. As it goes down to the bottom, but keeping those lines kind of thin as I kind of brush throughout, I still want to leave some of that texture through there because I think especially on the water that'll look a little bit more like a reflection. Okay, 
So this is looking pretty good. I'm still continuing. Um, I kind of forgot. And and you might be thinking, well, this doesn't look too, too good yet. And you might be getting kind of nervous even on yours. But it just comes with practice. I've done a lot and a lot of painting, probably hundreds of landscapes specifically. Uh, uh, so it just takes practice. Like you, you get to build that confidence and you kind of know what you're looking for. Uh, the reason I do have these because I've done uh, pictures like this uh, that have more this kind of style. And that's used with this, where you can get some of those consistency in a sky um, or a landscape, kind of with a silhouette that some people do here. I just put a whole bunch of random paints up here. If you haven't been able to see what I'm grabbing up there, and that's how I'm getting all my paints. I got a bunch of different brushes that I sometimes use. Again, I might keep this, I might go over it all. Um, I'm just trying to get an outline for where some of those ideas um, that I have in my brain and kind of on the picture that I'm going off of. Over here, I have an idea that I'm kind of going off of. I'm gonna keep it similar, but I might switch it up and do kind of my own thing too. Okay, now that I have some of this, I'm gonna start laying in some of my black um, just to get an outline. For some of the mountains or trees or forest or grass, whatever's in your background. I'm gonna kind of start on one edge where I kind of think is the lightest. And I think putting that dark with the light uh, really kind of sets it off um, pretty nicely uh, together. So I'm gonna work on that and then how that's gonna kind of creep into this water. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with where it is. Obviously, I don't think it's finished yet, but it is a great start. As I always tell my kids, add more details um, and a little bit of tricks and tips that I will tell you guys at the end. But let's make a little magic happen so we don't have to keep watching me work. So let's go just like... Bam! Looks awesome, it turned out really good. I used a whole bunch of different things, even some colored pencil and marker to get some of those details. But you can see how I kind of spread it out um, a little bit more and then added layer after layer and really adding some of that, even though I did like a first sky. Doing like a second sky on top of it and even like a third, like adding some of these cloud details, same thing on the bottom, but initial kind of black to get an idea where things were going, then going over with kind of a gray or a black, even some of that yellow to get some of the reflection and then going back with a Sharpie to get some of those details. And even going a fourth time with my colored pencil uh, white just to hit some of those highlights on. I had some fun, so hopefully you have fun. Of course I did. I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class. We'll talk to you guys later.